Sunday. Sorry I missed everybody. I didn't have a topic. Sorry, my bad. Uh, but today I do have a topic. I work at a gas station, if you guys didn't already know. And at the gas station I was working at, um, I am the one that every time I hear a Harley engine, I gotta look. Bikes coming in and out like crazy, filling up. Cars not paying attention and racing to the gas pump before the bike. Or pulling up too closely behind the bike at a gas pump so they could be next at the pump. I witnessed one of our regular customers pulling out, um, out of the gas station and nearly got hit by a car because the driver was not paying attention. You know, it really doesn't take much to watch your surroundings and watch out for these people that are on bikes now that it is riding season. Hope y'all are out there enjoying the weather. Uh, don't be texting and driving. Throw your phone in your center console, in your, in your passenger seat, in your purse, wherever it needs to be so it's not in your hands. So you can pay attention to what's going on around you now that the bikes are out. We don't need any more accidents on the road due to negligence of vehicle drivers because they weren't paying attention. Check over your shoulder. Don't always just depend on your mirrors. Check over your shoulder to make sure that there is no bike next to you when you're switching lanes. I mean, come on. It's all common sense. I know some people just may not have common sense. But, you know, bikers have families, just like the rest of us. Really need to pay more attention to what's going on. Um, I've wit witnessed driving right in front of <clears throat> the gas station while I was at work. A bike was turning to come into the gas station and a vehicle nearly hit the back end. Come on, it's one of the first days out and you're already not paying attention. We all know the riders were coming out yesterday. I had the instinct the minute I woke up in the morning, there's going to be a lot of riders out. I've seen dozens, but it doesn't take much to just pay attention. Not to mention... What if it was a little kid crossing the street? Not going to pay attention to that either. I think ignorance is bliss. I know the riders pay attention. Hey, I'm driving in my vehicle. I go as far as if I see there's a rider on a motorcycle behind me. I'm a smoker. I have the decency to actually open my window and flick my cigarette down to the ground instead of flicking it up in the air just so I don't hit the guy behind me on the bike. Uh, keep your distance. I do, mainly because I'm used to following bikers in my vehicle. It doesn't take a lot to do a half a car length behind a vehicle or behind a motorcycle, so you don't have the chances of rolling into their back tire. Because let me tell you, that biker's gonna get hurt, and we don't need any more biker injuries. Let's see. Some of the bikers need to be a little more aware, too, because I've seen some of these young guys out on the bikes, mainly the crotch rockets, though. They weave in and out of traffic and cut off the vehicles. Well, guess what? Road, road rage happens. The young guys on the crotch rockets need to be a little bit slow down. Wherever you're going is going to still be there. I have an article that I was going to read for you, so let me get to that. It's the time of year when drivers and riders start sharing the road again. Motorcyclists are starting to bring out their bikes after being stored away all winter long. Erie News Now talked with local bikers who wanted to remind drivers to be extra cautious now that bikes are out on the streets in large numbers. 
They asked local motorists to stay back at stop signs and lights to minimize the chances of rear-ending or knocking a biker off their motorcycle. I was sitting at a red light waiting for the light to change and the guy behind me turns around to swat his kid, lifts his foot off the brake, and runs into me, motorcyclist Norm Gates said. Gates experienced a, experiences shared by many bikers. My front tire got hit, bike got taken out by a lady at a re, that ran a red light, motorcyclist Zachariah Papuri said. To avoid accidents, be sure you look twice before pulling out in an intersection. Use your turn signals and keep your car distraction free zone. Yes, definitely. The biggest issue local bikers are talking about is the use of cell phones while driving. <clears throat> they're talking on their phone, texting as they're inching up behind us, motorcyclist William Slagle said. The most recent data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration shows distracted driving causes nearly 35,000 crashes in 2016 alone. Because of those crashes, more than 37,000 people died. Come on. You know, I see all winter long the texting and the driving. It's usually the younger generation. Yeah, I get it. We all have map quests. We all need to follow maps. But hey, you know, if the radio is not cranked, you know, your phone actually will tell you where to turn. So you don't have to stare at your phone to follow direction. I know it's kind of crazy because like mine, in a thousand feet, you will make a left. 500 feet, you will make a left. Yeah, we don't know what a thousand feet and five hundred feet are while we're driving, but it does tell you at the next at the next turn you will make. It tells you it tells you where you're going. You don't have to stare at the screen. Um, I know people have tried those vet clips for their phones. Out of them, not a lot of them work. If people did find ones that actually work, you should let us know where you got them from. I know the one that I, we actually sell one at work and people have been saying that when they put it on their vent, the minute they put it in there, guess what? <laughs> the phone drops down and it's not secure. Well, how important is it that your phone is in eyesight view? Most people have um, CD players, radio, whatnot. Um, do you really need to have eye vision on that phone? Mine's in my center console on my passenger seat. Or if my son's in the car, my son has my phone. And he's on my phone. YouTubing. Go figure. Gotta love it. So all I ask, and sorry for my rant today, but I like to watch out for those on the road on two wheels and three wheels. Those with four wheels. I'm one of those, but <coughs> please be careful. Please watch out for the riders. Let's not have 35,000 accidents due to texting and riding or texting and driving because or you're beating your kid in the back seat because they're screaming and yelling. So you turn around and next thing you know it, you're taking out that bike in front of you. Distraction-free zone while driving. Watch out for those riders. Be careful out there. We don't need any more accidents due to negligence. Well, thanks for listening to me rant. I really appreciate it. Next week, the show is going to be sights from downtown Chicago. Because why? Taking my daughter down there Wednesday morning. So until then, please ride safe, watch out for those bikers, be careful, don't text and drive. Love y'all.